It is time to resume. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. There she is. Oh, yes. The Trophy of Legends. But, you know, there's still one trophy missing here. And I think you know what I'll be going for now. Yeah, that's right. It's doubles time. And maybe I should have taken the other way around. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure which way is faster, really. But what I do know is I've got to talk to the lights again. Why, hello there! Come on, shall we call that piece of Jesus castle? Yeah. Go ahead, into the light! <laughs> and thus, another round, and the mushroom course begins. <sighs> it's just going to be... So awkward doing doubles at this course though, because as you've seen in the last two parts, it requires quite a bit of precision. It's a speech! The top golf team has come to pay their respects! <coughs> I don't like losing consciousness. You better fix that light source. Look up to the Mushroom Kingdom. You two have been quite busy. We've been waiting for you. This dialogue sure sounds familiar, doesn't it? I hate waiting! Came to the doubles cup to smash Mario's team. I don't care about these two numb skulls. Yep, sounds very familiar. <laughs> Including the eye clash of destiny and never mind. Hey, cool, you two. Try to remember we have kiss. Yep. It's all like replaying itself for doubles. <laughs> Mario and Bowser just never had good chemistry. <laughs> but that's what makes things fun. Everyone should have a fair shot at winning. This is the first doubles cup ever played here. Hmm? Touch everybody. I apologize for keeping you, but all of your competitors have now arrived. And now, let the mushroom doubles cup begin! Golfers, are you ready? No, I'm gonna see if there's any new dialogue here, just like I did before. Oh, of course you're gonna say Mamma Mia. Uh, Gru Gru. Oh, wait, I actually, did I, I, I just remembered, I didn't talk to you before, did I, DK? Yeah, on the other run through, I was just kind of zigzagging left to right, and, but I, and then I started going around this way, and... Yeah! I'm sorry, DK, I neglected you. Uh, no, wait, wait, did you say double? Oh, I got, no, that was doubt, not double. I was just reading too quickly. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like the dialogue is... Pretty much, oops, why did I do that again? It's pretty much the same overall, except for some little tiny tweaks for the whole doubles match here. So I'm just kind of clicking through this relatively quick and whatnot. So let's just, just seeing if there's any, anyone. I, I think they're all in the same places though. Each time you come in here and, eh, mm, eh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> doubles time. I am definitely ready. Yahoo! Once again! So yeah, all their dialogue was the same, so I assume that Donkey Kong's dialogue was also the same. Alright, new pin position. This might actually be a harder pin position because it's a little bit tighter than it was the first time we came through here, but that is okay. Because there's still enough green for me to whip that ball back and, well, lose a power shot. I'm sorry, Ella. I'm sorry for mishitting. Backspin, control it please. There we go. Neil should be able to pull that off. So, so, can he though? <laughs> it's not that difficult to pot. Neil! Neil! <laughs> that is not a pot I would have missed. Anyway, let's see the teams here. We got PD Piranha, Super Mario, or S Mario. No, wait, what? The S Mario? What? S Mario and Mario and Luigi? What? What the? Who is S Mario? <laughs> what? Huh? Womp and Chain Chomp? That makes sense to have a team with rhyming names. Koopa and Boo. <laughs> Gooper Blooper. What the heck? That is one easy boss in Sunshine. <laughs> All right, let's move on here. Uh. Uh, don't hit into the mushroom, please. There's out of bounds all over the place. <laughs> so, uh, in doubles, because Neil is not very good at course management for the most part, I think, uh oh, I think what's gonna happen is that you're gonna be playing for a lot of pars. 
But as long as you can keep that up and get a birdie here and there, I think you will be pleased with your end score. And I hit a driver off a really bad lie there. That was a little bit too risky for my own liking. Whoa, 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 why is that flying so far? That was only four miles per hour of wind. I got what they call, I guess, a flyer ball. Is that when you get um, something trapped between the club face and the ball, it reduces the spin, makes the ball fly fi farther than it would normally. That's why you're, you should be cleaning your clubs after every shot, if at all, well, cleaning your, well, your club that you use after every shot, but... So maybe there was some dirt on the back of the ball or something like that from being on that bare ground area. I don't know, I don't know, maybe. I just know it went way too far. Actually, I don't know if that, I don't know if you actually get flyer balls in this game. Uh, but it's, it certainly seemed like it, didn't it? Oh, 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 get over that ridge. Uh oh, that's not good. Neil! Neil, I can't make the green, Neil! <laughs> Fine, I'll just hit, and, hit it over there. I just, you know, plop it in the fairway, have a good time. Maybe go pet the piranha plant. Actually, no, that's probably a bad idea. I'll lose my hand. But <laughs> it's fair. Piranha plants are to be looked at, not touched. <laughs> um, what can Neil pull off here? I hope something close enough that I'll be able to make the putt. Oh, Neil, you're just putting me in so many awkward positions here. Um, I think I have to move the cursor a little bit to the left. And it looks more uphill than anything. Plus the fringe, I'm going to hit it there and hope for the best. Oh! <laughs> there we go. And even though I put it, it's still considered a chip in because, you know, it's off the green. But all right, I saved that par. Well, I guess we, I could say we saved that par, but Neil's two shots. I, I, I can't say he contributed, really. <laughs> Let's be honest here. All right, par five. So this is probably one of our best shots for birdie. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm going to try and hit to that regular old patch of fairway there and not the fast fairway the wind should hold my shot back enough that that it'll do so and well ooh, let's make it into the backspin backspin no bunker okay <laughs> i think he i think he can make the shot i think he can make the shots just yeah do a little curve and let her rip but will he make the shots oh no he will not <laughs> Neil! That's such an easy shot! Um, I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right because of the wind, and really rapidly move my thumb over to do that move. Ah, no birdie! <laughs> ah, not, not enough, I mean, not a low enough ball for me to spin it. I was probably slightly on the slope, which is why I had so much height to that. Hmm. I'm gonna try and land on that play panel, I guess, like I did before, but it, you know, it didn't work out before, but I'm gonna try it again just because it leaves us in a pretty good position. Uh, nope, not quite. I just don't want to overdo it because then we'll end up in semi-rough or rough or something like that, but that, that position is still nice even if the rocks aren't toppled and the bob bombs aren't out of the way. Did you just under hit that shot? Neil! Oh no! We just we just pinballed. I don't know if I can get out of this. Like, look, look, look at it. it we're in a there's a rock wall. Neil. <laughs> and by the way, this is what rock is like. It's a plus ten percent um, loss. And yeah, I'm just gonna have to hit out sideways, I guess, because I really can't go through that. It's not like it's a tree or something like that. And I just want to get as much loft as I can out of this shot, so I want to get myself into the bunker, preferably. Uh, oh, I buried it. Great. Ah, it's just plain unlucky. But, well, we'll see if we can get out of it. This is a disasterish hole anyway, so... Oh, into the rough now! <laughs> oh. Can I at least chip this in? Like, please? I'm begging you, game. Chip in. Chip in. Ah! Oh! That was a good attempt, though. But now it looks like we are getting a bogey, unless Neil misses this putt. 
I mean, a double bogey, excuse me, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright. At least I've got this shot to the green. <laughs> oh, Neil. This is not your day. It's not your day at all. I'm gonna hit over there and super backspin. Because I can, I can afford to hit this one tighter to the pin this time because the wind is working in my favor here. There we go. How do you like those apples? Eh, I'm on the fringe, but he'll putt that. You better get it in, Neil. Thank you! <laughs> it's just been screwing me left and right. But you look at that. Anyway. Hole 7. Shall I go for the play panel again? Maybe! I, I'll try it, because at the very least, this is a good good spot to lay up at if you don't make it to the play panel. So I'm just gonna try my best to get it. Oh, there we go. And that's, see, it's such a good position to hit between those rock spires, although I thought Neil could have hit over those other rock spires, but that didn't pan out, did it? <laughs> anyway, you can, you can make the shot. I have faith in you, Neil. I don't have faith in you. <laughs> well, that was actually really well, well struck, so this should turn out all right. Just land it into the rough or, or into the slope, and yeah, there we go! Now we're getting on the right track. <laughs> and by the right track, I mean the birdie trains track. <laughs> Back to even par. And hole eight. Oh, all that lava is just getting me nauseous with him. <laughs> Not to mention the holes that have chain chomps on them if he takes a shot. That's good position though, it's past the mushroom and everything. I just gotta get us over somewhere where he can't screw it up. So I'm gonna hit way, way past everything here and try and topspin it out of the rough and onto that patch of fairway. Did it work? It looks like it did, yeah. I didn't. I thought I was gonna overhit it there for a second, but it turned out just fine. Now, Neil, drop and stop. Drop and stop, please. Well, okay, if there's enough green to work with, you can, you're can. you allowed to run it out a little bit, if you'd like to, okay. This is an acceptable shot. <laughs> um, and move it a little bit to the right, just a little, and about at the mark because it's downhill and everything. There we go. Birdie trains chugging. <sighs> Alright, next hole. And then I think I'm gonna end off the parts because there's a bunch of that dialogue and stuff like that plus the ending cutscenes again as you, as you can tell are coming so yes. Just gotta plan for it in part length if at all possible. Sometimes it's hard to predict how long a part is going to be though, but not all the time. Like, I've been noticing that nine holes generally takes me about ten minutes or so, unless, you know, there's dialogue and, and stuff like that going on before it and whatnot. So, whoa! That's why I, I generally end up just doing a whole singles round in a single part, generally, because if I'm just playing golf that, that particular day, uh, you know, there isn't any dialogue that is going to be really hindering me or anything like that. Well, I mean, uh, uh, not hindering me, excuse me, there's no hindering from the dialogue. I mean, increasing the part length. And I just moved it a bit to the right there and got the par. I, I messed up on a little bit there, that's all right. We're at one under par, and I will take that, especially since we are finally back to being, I should say, this is the first time since the last hole that we've actually been under par this tournament. <laughs> so at that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we hopefully win this thing. And I do mean hopefully. I'm looking at you, Neil. I'm looking at you.